Gallimera, Gallimera, Gallimera. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, never a dull moment in our house. I just thought I'd just show you a uh, little uh, mummy there with a uh, little chicks. Oh, bless. They all look so young as well. She's got, I don't know how many she's got there. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I've got to give up trying to count how many there are. Well, anyway, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we today? The weather today, uh, not a cloud in the sky, a little slight bit of haze. Uh, it's hot again, as you can tell by the sounds of the uh, birds singing. Nice to see you, Maria. Sorry, uh, Amanda tuning in at the moment and Maria in Sweden tuning in. Uh, weather forecast. For today, temperatures according to Amanda, uh, around about 33 degrees, although it's going to feel like 37. Um, got to be honest, uh, it's still hot today. Uh, also, as well, there's been an extension to the uh, fire warning that's been put here on Zakynthos, uh, that has been extended officially. Uh, yesterday, we went into extra measures as well, so again. Uh, the fire brigade are being extra cautious, uh, basically making sure that their, their um, preparations uh, are in place. So again, once again, can I just implore everybody to be very, very careful uh, with whatever you're doing in regards um, <clears throat> a naked flame, whether you're having a barbecue or uh, whether you are a smoker, be very careful indeed. Uh, I'll just quickly give you the extra measures that are in place as well uh, that uh, were notified in the local press here. Uh, we're obviously at cat stage four uh, from the civil protection. Zakynthos now has a ban on any movement, any transit or visit or stays in forest locations, natural uh, national parks, groves and uh, what they call nature areas. So once again, please be aware when you're out and about traveling, if you see cordon tape anywhere, you are not to go into that location. That location, it's forbidden for you to be there. If you're thinking about doing a bit of wild camping, unfortunately, that now has been banned. Uh, and also remind you again that there is also a, uh, a prohibition to footpaths and vehicle traffic uh, from eight o'clock, sorry, from 1600 uh, six o'clock in the evening until six o'clock in the morning uh, in forested areas and those areas are marked so once again if you're caught in those areas at though after those times uh, you will be prosecuted as a potential arsonist anyway once again just to remind you again if you do happen to see a fire somewhere or you're not sure the number to phone is 199 199. Uh, even if you're not sure if somebody may have already reported it, just give a call anyway. They'll tell you whether it's been reported or not because you never know. You might nip something in the bud. All right. Uh, flights today then. A pretty busy day for flights from the UK today. Expecting nine flights in. Uh, Jane should be down at the airport at the moment, but one of the flights that she's meeting has been delayed, so it gives her a little bit more free time at home. Uh, we've got four flights in from London. We've got two in from Birmingham. We've got two in from Manchester. We've also got uh, one in from Leeds, and also we have one in from Dublin. Yes, the Irish are coming today. Uh, I was actually learning that the airline that supplies them, which is called Smart Links, uh, they're actually from TUI, actually. So, again, I think TUI's used another company to get their flights in from Dublin. But anyway, good to see that the Irish uh, are on their way again as well for another week. And obviously, those that we've had are probably going home uh, today as well. Bless them. And thank you as well. You guys have been absolutely fantastic in the bar. Right, COVID in the last 24 hours across Greece. Um, the infection rate has dropped slightly. Uh, yesterday, I told you 3,493. Today, 3,270. Uh, 16 new cases were identified after checks into the country. That is up on the day previous where it was nine. Now, when it comes to the individual stats for islands of interest that I've been keeping an eye on, uh, Mykonos has had 26 new infections in the last 24 hours. Rhodes has had 115 new infections in the last 24 hours. Lefkado, which is a small little island very close to where we are, uh, they've had 12 infections in the last 24 hours. Corfu, our big uh, cousins up the road, they've had 52 new infections and they still not made the red and they're still in amber, which is interesting. And the Perfecture of Kefalonia, they've had three new infections. And Zakynthos, we've had 10 new infections 
in the last 24 hours. Yesterday we had 20 and the day before that we had 10. So at the moment, Zakynthos now has, has had 966 positive cases on the island since the beginning of the year. Uh, and this month alone, we've had 199 cases. Uh, the highest case rate a month for a month was the month of July when there was 272 cases. So uh, it's looking like uh, we're only into the uh, 15th of the month that, uh, yeah, we could be uh, looking at uh, the numbers going a bit higher. But anyway, at least it's a drop from the previous day. Ten new cases here today reported on the island of Zakynthos. Now, when it comes to deaths uh, for uh, COVID across the country, Believe it, or not, I believe it or not, exactly the same amount of deaths as yesterday, which was 24. That brings the death toll now to 13,206. Once again, 96% of those people had underlying health problems or were over the ages of 70. And um, again, our condolences to those families that have been affected by that. Um, when it comes to critical cases in ICUs, that has crept up just ever so slightly. Uh, 235 reported yesterday, 236 today, 150 male and 86 female. Uh, one gentleman uh, obviously got put into the ICU. Once again, the average age of people in the ICUs at the moment is 67 years of age. 83% of them have underlying health issues or are over the ages of 70. Um, when it comes to the news today, uh, just be aware that today, August the 15th, is a very, very important um, religious holiday here uh, in Greece. It's the Assumption of the Virgin Mary for all of the good Catholic people like myself uh, who uh, did their catechism. Yeah, the Assumption was when uh, Mary was ascended into heaven uh, to join uh, to join Jesus and God uh, and the Holy Spirit. And that is a very, very big celebration here right across Greece. Any church that's got the name Maria obviously are going to be doing uh, extras. But however, there are still going to be strict measures in place, safety distances and a predetermined pre number of worshippers uh, for each church, which are obviously categorized by each church. So once again, please be aware that today is a very, very important religious holiday. It also marks the day when normally a lot of uh, Greeks from Athens start their summer vacations and they start leaving the capital and heading for the island. So again, it's going to be interesting to see how our numbers swell here in Zakynthos over the next few days. And uh, once again, those people who are out and about uh, just be aware um, make sure that you do wear your mask when going into shops when you're going into restaurants and then once you're obviously inside you uh, this is restaurants and bars then obviously you can remove your mask right, once you're being served as it were so once again please please be careful and if you just want to have a look at what's going on inside the churches as well on this day again you may or may not get in depending on uh, the numbers that they are allowing people to go in but again it's a very interesting day I think it's going to be busy where we are just up the road at Ayamavra. We have a big, very important church up there. And so today is a very big day for a lot of Greeks. Um, going back now to the fires again, a uh, fire broke out in the Mesa Ori area, which is in the southern part of the island of Eva, which has taken a real beating this past week. Uh, it was announced yesterday around about 3.30 3 that the village of Mesahira was being evacuated as a precaution. Uh, there were reports that firefighters there were already uh, um, being moved to that location from the northern part of the island, which had seen heavier damage earlier in the month and also during the week and being sent into that location. Now, the interesting thing was that there were high winds that were actually going to get up to about 74 kilometers an hour. Uh, which is about 46 mile an hour. Um, and uh, there were major problems for the firefighters operating there. 24 firefighters, two planes, two helicopters. And of course, when the winds get up, that is when the fires also get up as well. Anyway, 
<clears throat> Earlier on Saturday, a fire started in the central south of Eva, burning farmland and forest, but so far it appears in that location to be relatively uh, contained. At the moment, there was no update on that news uh, this morning as to how that fire is going. So once again, please, 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 just be very careful. Um, <clears throat> we've been very fortunate so far here on Zakynthos. <clears throat> And we really want to keep it that way. And again, if you see something untoward in the way of smoke or flame, uh, please, the number 199, just in case you might be the person who nips a fire uh, in the bud. Um, also, going back to enforcement, stats were out from the uh, police uh, yesterday. Uh, four arrests have been made in Zakynthos during police checks on Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th during the hours of uh, from six o'clock in the evening till two o'clock in the morning now these arrests were two for attempted theft two for no driving licenses five violations of the music schedule also as well i think basically people were playing their music a little bit too loud on the friday i would think in the venues wherever they were and they've obviously got booked for it as well so once again the police are still out uh, checking uh, they were out last night <clears throat> in fact we had a police car sat outside magdalena's for a little bit last night uh, a bit early in the evening uh, so anyway they didn't catch us uh, uh, being too untoward i've got to be honest last night from the video footage that i released last night we were absolutely banging again in magdalena's i know people were commenting about people standing up uh but put it this way we've got a lot of dutch in at the moment and just trying to get them to sit on the chair can be very difficult um and it's about balance in some ways as well um yeah uh, a lot of dutch in last night a lot of uh, uk in as well there was a really lovely spirit in there last night absolutely fantastic spirit i know we're losing a few people today they're going home they've had their holiday so a big shout out to george uh, and all your little entourage that you have, mate. Uh, we're going to miss you. We look forward to seeing you next year, all right? Uh, but again, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how things change over tonight as well as uh, th those who've had their holiday go home and the new ones arrive. Uh, also as well, just be aware, uh, the police were busy here on Zakynthos again, uh, doing people for not wearing masks. Uh, two people were done for not wearing a mask. Also employees in restaurant, uh, employees also in uh, venues, they were also being booked as well. Once again, just to remind you, if you get caught not wearing a mask going into a shop, okay, you're looking at a 300 euro fine. And again, if you're an employee and you're caught without wearing a mask or that, when the police turn up again you're looking at again a uh, 300 euro fine but all in all um that's really just all the news for today to be quite honest not a lot happening um just be aware that uh, the big celebration for the 15th is on i'm not sure what town is going to be like normally there's a, a bit of a, a bit of a celebration down in the town but any church that has the name Maria attached to it. Uh, that is a busy, this is today a busy day for them. Right, I'm gonna cut it short because uh, Jane would like me to cook breakfast today because again, we are a bit like ships passing in the night. As I come in, she's going out uh, to get ready to go to the airport or whatever. Uh, so again, it's, uh, it's, it's a very interesting time at the moment and things don't seem to have settled down. If anything, things just seem to be getting busier uh, and busier and busier also as well just to remind you that uh, today my northern soul show is on beatsradio.co.uk um again this show was recorded uh, just after we were told that the lockdown was in place so i think it's going to be a bit of an interesting show and also can i just say thank you to um a lovely couple that i met yesterday uh, who work for a television company uh and for your comments last night i tell you know what i was really shocked at your comments last night thank you for uh, really enjoying what i do in magdalena's i look forward to chatting to you again i'm not going to say any more than that but a uh, i was absolutely overwhelmed yesterday i really really was so anyway as soon as i know more i'll let you know more all right but that's it from me. Quick shout out to Lyndon. Nice to see you tuning in yesterday. Also, Paul Harrison as well, who's tuning in. Liz Saunders, 
Maria Halberg, obviously all the way from Sweden. Mike Glattenley, just down the road there. Rossi from Australia tuning in as well. Nice to have you looking in. Still uh, annoyed about what's happening with uh, Australia uh, Sky News. One of the best places to get news, Sky Australia. Check it out. It's a good station and they don't pull any punches and they are very hard on the government of Australia. And they're also hard on the British government and also the American government as well. So nice for you tuning in, Rossi, uh, to get the news from the island as well. Uh, Lorna Grant is uh, tuning in. She says, good morning, Ginge. Beautiful sunny day here in Suffolk. Oh, bless. There you go. The sun is out in Suffolk. And Heather Nash says, good morning to you and Jane and all. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, that's it, I think. But anyway, that's it from me. I'll keep my ear to the ground. Uh, if I hear of anything, I will let you know. Once again, thank you for the support. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Um, some people have sent me some very personal, private messages about the podcast. I'm not going to go on to those. But can I say thank you for your messages and for what you say. I feel very moved and very, very touched as well. But anyway. Anyway, that's it from me for today. As I said, I'll keep my ear to the ground. I'll also be posting my dance anthem show, which has been broadcast over the weekend on beatsradio.co.uk. I will get that up today at some point, hopefully with a playlist. I've not even looked to see if a playlist was saved as the show was being broadcast. Um, but I will get that up online. It'll be interesting to see how that show uh, does in the Mixcloud chart as well, because the one before it has done phenomenally well as as well and uh, also i'll put a link up as well for the uh, northern soul show uh, which is out today on uh, beatsradio.co.uk 5 p.m uk time which is seven o'clock our time i can normally just get in for the first hour into the chat area just to say hello and uh, obviously leave the odd message and stuff like that anyway that's it from me I'm off to cook breakfast now for the lovely Jane before she's got to get back down the airport. Thank you for the slight delay to the flight because uh, it gives us a little bit of time together. We've got the old sky scanners going and the airport scanners going, <laughs> checking the flights so that <laughs> Jane doesn't miss one. And in fact, there's flights turning up that she didn't even know about, but luckily uh, she was there. So things are looking positive at the airport and it's still very busy down there at the moment. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll speak to you again soon. You take care. Have a great day. Ta-ra.